Hello everybody, it's Fufu here, and I am here with my friend Richie for a countdown. We have recently uh, got some leaks for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, games that I am super excited about, and there have been some kind of interesting ones that I want to go over today. First of all, I want to say hi to Richie. Hello Richie, how are you? Hey, how's it going? I am not very rich on YouTube. Hopefully, I mean, you may have heard of me, I don't know. I've not been doing this long. So Richie has got a very new YouTube channel, it's really cool, please go and check it out. He's a long time friend of mine and he's got some great content, he'll definitely be doing some Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon stuff when the game comes out, maybe even before, I don't know. But um, yeah, go check out his channel, but without further ado, we are going to be counting down the five Pokemon with new moves that make absolutely no sense in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon and we are in for a treat so let's get on this one. Number five is going to be Lycanroc. This is a very strong dog Pokemon and in the new games it's got a new form which is really neat. It's got a very high attack stat and it's got some great new coverage moves with the tutors that will really help it out. But one of those moves is a bit strange to me, and that is Drill Run. Now, drilling implies like a sharp pointy thing spinning at fast speeds, and I don't know, dogs can't really use drills, so does that imply that the dog itself is meant to be spinning at high speeds? I, I don't get it at all. But, I mean, its dex entry does say its quick movements confuse its enemies, so maybe that's what happens? The dog just spins super fast in a way that just makes absolutely no sense. Number four. Now, a lot of mons get defog now, and as you can see, a lot of them are birds, or at least bird-like and have flappy bits and such. But the one that stands out to me is Klefki. I mean, I know Klefki does a lot of things that, you know, a parakeet shouldn't be able to do, but defog seems a bit ridiculous. I mean, I, I can sort of just picture it with the keys just spinning around the key ring until, like, rocks fly away, but... I like to spin keys around on my fingers and I've never moved boulders before, but maybe that's just me. I, I'm not shaking them enough. I understand that this is probably a more of a competitive design, but I still I still find it funny. Uh, the keys can move rocks and spikes and toxic spikes, and it just makes me laugh, so I wanted to include it on this list. At number three, we have Guzzlord. This Ultra Beast is pretty cool. He's big and spooky and spiky and bitey and just lots of cool adjectives. But this time around in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, he now gets Magnet Rise again through a Move Tutor. And I think that this is pretty wacky for two main reasons. Firstly, Electromagnetic electric types usually get magnet rise or maybe naturally magnetic steel and rock types. Guzzlord is neither of these, he's just a dragon dark type so the magnetism I don't really get where it's coming from. And second of all, he's a freaking huge dragon blob floating through the sky. Like how does that even work? Can you imagine walking down the street and a massive Guzzlord floats above your head? What is going on there? And this deck entry says it has gobbled mountains and swallowed whole buildings. So. I think we're talking about a pretty heavy guy here. He's one of the heaviest Pokemon out of them all. So it would take a lot, a lot of magnetism to make that guy rise. And I just don't get it at all. So there we go, Guzzlord at number three. For number two, there's Doug Trio, which in the newer games, it now learns Stomping Tantrum. And well, y you already know what I'm going to say. I mean, look at Doug Trio and look at the word Stomping Tantrum. What You already have figured out what's missing here. Stomping usually implies feet. Where's the feet? There's no feet. I get that it's probably boring, but stomping tantrum just is bad words for it. I'm, I'm not being silly here, am I? But I, maybe I'm being pedantic, but there is no stomping going on here. This is this is boring only, boring tantrum. I'm, I'm being a fool. And the final one, the one that takes the biscuit is Persimian. This Pokemon gets tons of good move tutors now, some really helpful ones, but one that stands out for all the wrong reasons, and that is Electroweb. And I think that this stands out for the wrong reasons twice. First of all, it the first part is Electro, and again, this is definitely not an electric monkey. There's no electricity in its design whatsoever, so I don't get that part. But really, the second part is the, the crux of the matter, web. 
This is a monkey. It is not a spider. It is not a bug. It only has four limbs and maybe a tail, so five pushing it. And I just don't understand how this thing can create webs. So the only question left to ask is, where does the web come from? Probably best just to leave it there and call it a day. So that is it. That was my countdown of five Pokemon that now have moves that make absolutely no sense. Please let me know what you think about these Pokemon in the comment section below and whether there are any other moves that you think Pokemon get that just don't make any sense. But that's all for today, folks. As I say, please go over to Richie's channel, Not Very Rich. He's got some great video content coming your way. But all that's actually said is I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.